Hey there, mama friend, and welcome to the 5-Minute Mom Podcast, where we'll talk about real life, real faith, real fast. To learn more about all of our co-hosts or to sign up for a free monthly resource email, be sure to check out all the links in the podcast show notes. Hey friends, welcome back to the second week of our Lent prayers. Today we're going to talk about spring and the revival that it brings. Thank you, Lord, that as you revive our hearts for Lent, you are also reviving the world around us as a beautiful reminder. As the world transforms before our eyes and winter melts into spring, you remind us that you faithfully make all things new. You don't forget us in our darkness, but you bring light and life. Just as seeds buried in the dark, cold snow push through the soil, unforgotten and seen by you, we see that you bring beauty from our hidden seasons. As birds feed their young, we remember that you never fail to provide. As the things that appear dead show off their colors and their resilience, we are inspired to grow again. As you water the grass that you know will be soon cut away, we are comforted by how much you love and care for us. As the rain falls to the earth and accomplishes to quench and refresh everything it touches, we recall that your faithful word does the same for us daily. As animals bear their young, we rejoice that you are faithful to a thousand generations. As the meadow lark sings your praises and trees lift their hands, As the mountains come awake with their ancient song, we bring to mind that you are so worthy of our praise in every season. The winter is long and cold and hidden. One word from you, one breath from you changes everything. In your timing, the barren landscapes of our life are meadows full of wildflowers, not striving or straining, but just being lovely, a show of your glory. And likewise, as the dogwood tree unveils its pure white blooms only once a year, a cross with nail scars and a center crown of thorns, we remember that you are retelling us year after year, reminding us year after year that you've overcome death, that like winter you willingly died and were buried. For the most stunning spring, the most unspeakably glorious renewal the world has ever seen, the chance of new life paid by one, gifted to us all. As we stand in awe of spring, we stand in awe of you, our Savior, our sole spring bringer, our only hope of revival.